So we're making chicken dumplings. So what I'm doing is I'm adding a little olive oil into the pot to um, kind of saute my vegetables. And this is onion, celery, and I'm going to put bell peppers. Okay, so there's some adding some bell peppers. And I'm just gonna scramble them around for a little bit. And so these kind of plants are good. I just like the flavor that they get off. And they're all um, finished baking. And they're being uh, tattooed. Okay. Scramble around. Okay, so for this, I don't like to put my garlic in too early because I don't like for it to burn. So I'm going to add some chopped garlic. You can chop your own if you like, or you can buy it already chopped. And make it scramble around a little. Okay, so I've got this all scrambled around and it's smelling extra, extra good. So because it's just me and Steve and I, sometimes I don't like to cook a whole chicken because we don't eat it all. So I'm trying to be less. So what I'm going to add to that is some chicken wings. And stir this around for a little bit with the vegetables. Kind of give it a head start and push it through. Okay, so now that my chicken is in here with my vegetables, I'm just scrambling it around. And this is a good way to make chicken and dumplings too for someone who's like a single person who doesn't want to cook a lot of food. You can do it with chicken, um, chicken wings instead. So I'm adding a little obey, only because I add obey to everything. Then I'm going to add some garlic powder. And I'm going to add a little black pepper, which this is the best black pepper you can buy. There it is, guys. And because I like spicy, I'm saying this real low. I'm adding a little bit of pepper flakes because to me that gives you the flavor. So I'm just going to stir this around. Mix all that goodness up. Now, to this, I'm going to add my chicken stock, which I use Watkins chicken stock. And, um, you can uh, see that it's a different kind of chicken stock. It has like different kinds of um, flavors and seasonings embedded into it. So since this is the last part of it, I'm just gonna pour it all in. Okay, so I've uh, added my water and my chicken is in here, getting all ready to cook. So what I'm gonna do, now you see how it looks. It's going to look like that. And I'm going to put it on the back burner on low just so that it can um, start to cook and get its flavor. I'm going to put the top on. And I'm going to put it back there. So 
So I'll be back with the dumpling part. Okay, so it's time to start preparing our dumplings. And I have used one and three fourths cup of flour. And to that I'm adding half a teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna kind of stir it around. And to that, I'm going to add my one-third cup of shortening. And you just kind of put it in, and you're going to have to use a fork or a pastry cutter because you want to um, mix it up the way you do this so that the flour and the um, shortening mix. So you just kind of want to mix it until it crumbles up. So, like you could do a pie crust, if you've ever done one, right? or biscuits. So it's gonna be it's gonna be all crumbly, like so. To this mixture, I'm going to add my milk, which is three-fourths cup of milk. But before I add the milk, I'm going to add some other dry ingredients that they didn't say to add, which is like some sage. Sprinkle a little sage in there, just because I like the sage paste. And I'm going to add some rosemary. And to that, I'm going to add a little paprika, just because I like the taste of paprika. Well mix, like so, real crumbly. So to this, I'm going to add my milk, add it in the center, and kind of stir it around as you're adding it so that it doesn't um, sink to one side. These are the kind of dumplings I would use when you a child. So what you're going to do is get it all mixed up like so until it's going to come together. And mix it together pretty well too. Just so, you're going to have this consistency of dough. Sticky. And you want to add a little more flour just to get rid of the stickiness of it. And like I said, it's just like a biscuit dough, really. So, there you go. That'd be good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is half, roll out half at a time, like so. Just in case. Now you can mash this up without with your hand. Okay, so as you can see, I rolled out my dumplings and I did use a roller. And what you're going to do to get the dumplings into your juice is you're just going to cut them in strips like you would pie crust, like so. I tell you, this brings back childhood memories. My grandmother used to make dump chicken and dumplings like this all the time. And then as I got older, I got lazy. And believe it or not, I started making it with tortillas because it kind of worked the same. So I'm just going to continue to sl split this. 
Okay, so that's ready to go. Let's go over and see how the chicken's doing. Let's see. Looking real nice and good there. So, basically this, the way it's boiling, it's ready to put in the dumplings. So, let me bring the board over so that we can get that going. Okay, so here's my board of dumplings that I've cut. And what I'm going to do is just pick them up and put them in like this. Just drop them in. And they'll continue to cook like so. You don't have to cut them. You don't have to be fancy with them. You just drop them in. And you can eat this with cornbread or regular bread if you'd like or whatever kind of bread you like. But I tell you, for the weather the way it is today, it's a nice hearty meal that you can enjoy. They call it comfort food. So okay, I need to be comforted today. Especially after being on a train ride. Their food was good, but it's nothing like your own food. So what I'm going to do is get all of these all put in and the second batch put in and just stir them and let them cook. Just stir them until they're, they're tender. So, okay, so let's get a quick taste of the dumplings. As you can see, they cook. And I'm just going to add a little black pepper to mine because I like black pepper. And then let's stir it around. And see how nice your dumplings come out? Very, very good. Let's see. Mm. Very delicious. The seasonings in there are right on point. And like I said, because I don't like to cook a lot of chicken, I use the chicken wings, and they cook them just perfectly. So, another thing you can do to your chicken dumplings, like I added um, a can of cream of mushroom soup. Mmm. So, there are your dumplings. Try this out. We're going to have cornbread with ours. And it's just such a good comforting food. So, thank you for tuning in. I guess you can see me now. <laughs> thank you for tuning in. And if you have any questions about any recipes, make sure you email me in the comments section. And I'll make sure I answer. And I do have um, Thanksgiving uh, meals coming up. And if you haven't already made your cornbread, make your cornbread because we're going to be making stuffing with you. So, like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for looking and watching. Let's cook it up and explore.